start. Start. So, just look at the color of the so. Just look at the color of lithology. So here it's lighter, here it's dark. So that means the organic matter is come. Here um, you have a carbonate rich strata, and here you have the more oxygenation type of material because of the uh, enhanced weathering, um, which is feeded the plastic material to the ocean. Secondly, um, when you take a sample from here and uh, another sample from here, and you do the carbonate um, carbon stable isotope analysis. So here you will have a background value and here you will have a very huge positive kick. This section is very unique uh, in nature because um, everywhere in the world uh, you have a very positive excursion along this boundary but here at this bed, uh, lower part, uh, I got the huge negative um, curve and then a positive curve and then uh, slowly and gradually it recurs. <coughs> um, in terms of the oxygen, so you see there is a lot of bioturbation uh, and those bioturbations are well preserved over here. So when there is a bioturbation on the ocean floor, so that means the ocean water is oxic in nature. But when you enter over here, uh, so you don't have any bioturbation and this well laminated strata is preserved. So that means the ocean has been depleted and now the ocean floor has been uh, inoxic in nature. <coughs> This boundary has also forced uh, the um, planktonic turnover. So <clears throat> I took a sample from over here. So this is a cinnamonian um, uh, interval. And we have a lot of planktonic uh, forminifera, which are killed in nature. We also have opportunistic forminifera, heterohelix, white annelids, and dicarnelids. So, so this, Thin section is full of planktonic formula, but when we enter to this boundary, so everything becomes disappeared, and in this whole boundary it disappears. When um, in the upper portion uh, the carbonate deposition resumes, and this inoxic event uh, that is over uh, the, the ocean and the environment has recovered itself, so new species appear. Some of the species has survived the white annelid species and some of the dicarnelid species, all of the rotaliporid species have been extinct. Uh, but some of the white annelid and dicarnelid uh, and heterohelix species have survived. And then um, in those carbonate units, different other marginotrogonids, white annelid and dicarnelid species appear uh, in the ocean. Chemistry resume itself, the biota resume itself, but overall you have a very huge planktonic turnover at this point. Um, in terms of the strontium isotope, you can cause an excursion uh, along the strontium isotope curve in this boundary because uh, the rate of weathering has been um, increased along this boundary. And there are various other redox proxies uh, which I didn't work, uh, it still needs to be investigated. So there, there's a lot of work which needs to be done on this boundary.